I'm the president of Friends of McLaren Park. It is uh, one of the oldest uh, neighborhood parks community groups in San Francisco. I give a lot of tours through the park. During those tours, a lot of the folks in the group will think of the park as very scary. It is a lot of hills, there's a lot of dense groves. Once you get towards the center of the park, you really lose your orientation. You're very much in a remote area. There are a lot of trees that shield your view from the urban setting. You would simply see different groves that gives you a sense of freedom, of being outdoors, not being burdened by the worries of city life. John McLaren had said that Golden Gate Park was too far away. He proposed that we have a park at the south end of the city. The campaign slogan was, people need this open space. One of the things that had to happen is there were a lot of people who did a homestead here, about 25 different families. Their property had to be bought up. So it took from 1928 to 1957 to buy up all the parcels of land that ended up just 317 acres. The park, as a general rule, is heavily used in the mornings and the evenings. One of the favorite places is up by the upper reservoir because the dogs get to go swim. It's extremely popular. Many fights in the city, as you know, about the dogs in parks. We have 317 acres, and God knows there's plenty of room for both of us, a man and his best friend. Early in the morning, people, before they go to work, will walk their dogs or go on a jog themselves with their dog. Joggers love the park. There's seven miles of hiking trails. That's just the paved trails, and there's many more that are off-trail paths that, that hikers can take. All the recreational areas are heavily used on weekends. We have the group picnic area, which accommodates 200 people. Tennis courts are full. It also has three playground areas. The amphitheater was built in 1972. It was the home of the first blues festival in San Francisco. Given the fact that Jerry Garcia used to play in this park, he was from the neighborhood, everybody knows his reputation. We thought what a great thing it would be to have an amphitheater named after Jerry Garcia. There's a name that has panache. It is a wonderful introduction for people from all over the Bay Area to the amphitheater. The calls that come in, you know, we'd like to do a concert at the Jerry Garcia Amphitheater. And we do everything we can to accommodate them and help them because it gets people into the park. People like a lot of color, and that's what they call a park. Other people don't. You have to try to reconcile all those different points of view. And what should a park look like, and what should it have? And should it be manicured, and should it be nice little cobblestones around all of the paths and things like that? The biggest objective, of course, is getting people into the park and appreciate open space. Whatever that's going to take to make them happy and get them there, that's the main goal. Now, if it takes a a planter with flowers and stuff like that, fine, you know, so what? People need to get away from that urban rush and noise, and this is a perfect place to do it. Feedback is always amazement. They don't believe that it's in San Francisco. We have visitors who will say, I never knew this was here, and I'm a native San Franciscan. They wonder how long it's been here. When I tell them next year we're going to celebrate the 80th anniversary of the park, they're astounded. They absolutely love it.